Cool. Awesome. So, yeah, welcome everyone to now what I think is the third DAO community call. Uh, I guess kind of good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on where you are. Um, on that note, I know we discussed about times for these calls in the meeting last week, and I think the consensus we came to is that we need to do another vote. Um, that obviously hasn't happened. Apologies. We kind of got away from me, but I'll make sure... Um, uh, let's make sure that that happens before before next week. There's obviously always going to be a balance to strike, and we probably can't please everyone. Um, but I think majority rule is probably a right way to go. If there's anyone that wants to take ownership of organising that vote, please send me a message and like crack on. That would be super useful. If not, I'll happily do it. Um, I'll happily do it in the next few days. So uh, I thought I'd kick off, just give a little quick update on the kind of the stats for the for the DAO and where we're at. So um, for the Genesis NFT, the D4R NFT that we've all purchased to get into the community, we're at about we're at 3,224 total minted now, which is cool, we're approaching halfway. And then holders, um, I believe we're on about 1,750. So yeah, it's nice. Uh, there's a June analytics board that was created by, who is it? Forum by proxy. Thanks very much. Um, if you want to kind of see the statistics for the DAO. Um, uh, but yeah, nice to see that things are still growing. The, the, the growth rate had an uptick a little bit from last week, which is pretty cool. And then in Discord, I was hoping we might have hit a thousand by the call today, but not quite. So we are on. 987 people as a member of this discord which i think is awesome and uh there's been loads of cool stuff happening and loads of help and support and learning so yeah it's all really really exciting stuff um to see uh so um just kind of kicking off from uh, actions from from last week so we needed a solution for audio recordings uh for these calls which is hopefully done we're testing it today it's the me six bot um, uh, so hopefully at the end of this meeting, we'll get a, a nice immediate audio file uh, uh, of the session, um, which is great. Um, the next one was to establish a, a channel in the server for starting to help define and discuss the, the DAO mission statement uh, and kind of like our, va our values and goals. I did create that server. If you scroll down to projects, there is a project called uh, DAO Manifesto. Um, I stupidly didn't at everyone in that though, so um, the conversation didn't go as far as it would. A couple of the approaches that I suggested was um, getting the conversation going in there, which I've obviously obviously messed up, uh, but also about a more async approach where we would get a draft version up, which people could discuss. So that seemed to be what people preferred. So I, I've gone ahead and created a draft version using um, a template that's now on the community repo as a PR. It's called the DAO Canvas template. So this is very much a sort of work in progress document, just trying to map out what is the DAO, what's our mission, what are our values, um, where are we going, how are we going to get there, um, et cetera. I've locked that PR purely because I think if a thousand devs in a server all start commenting and doing pull requests on that PR, it might get a bit mad. but. I'll post the link now, and then if people want to have a read of it uh, and then start chatting in that down manifesto channel about their thoughts on what's there, um, we can then start to, I think, coordinate a consensus and refine that until we are uh, at least broadly happy with um, uh, kind of what it says. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm just posting a link to the pull request in here now so you can go in and see it. Just to caveat that it's super work in progress document. It's kind of a mixture of some thoughts that are more finalized and some thoughts that are like really just notes. Nada came in a couple of days ago and, and added some thoughts in as well. But um, yeah, it'd be really good to start getting some feedback on that and ideas. And then we can kind of work into a, like a version 0.1 and then kind of up, update the pull call, call request and push it and get some more feedback. And, and I think that would be really useful just for trying to get things moving. Um, 
The next action item was Nader carrying on the conversation with Neath Seed Club. I know that he intends to do that. He's had a lot of conversations this week. I think some people may have seen a uh, note from him about some grants that he's considering, or he's been speaking to people about the prospect of us collaborating with people like Gitcoin. Uh, I think he's also considering a, um, how we might get some funding from the Ethereum Foundation, which is really, really cool, but I don't know the details of that. Unfortunately, Nader can't be here today. He's traveling. Um, but um, I think it's safe to assume that uh, there is some movement happening on that. I just don't know the details. Um, and the next action item was uh, Manny was going to have a look at deploying discourse. He didn't quite have time, so I picked it up. Um, we did have a problem with that, but it's now deployed. So I'm going to share a link into the chat for this now. Um, where are we? Here. So you should be able to self sign up to that forum, that discourse. Um, I'll, I'll, put, I'll try and allude a little bit to, a bit more later into maybe how we might utilize that so we don't just have another place where there's communication going on and um, maybe there's not um, a huge amount of organization and like purpose and, and understanding of what it's for. But I'll, I'll, I'll try and explain a bit that a bit more about that later. But if everyone who's re really interested in contributing and putting thought, uh, putting Thought, uh, putting forward thoughts and maybe brain dumps on what we could be doing and then also proposals or responding to proposals and voting on them for like soft consensus, then please sign up. If you have any problems signing up, if it doesn't work, if you could just DM me, I will try and uh, get to the bottom of them as fast as I can. Um, obviously, uh, don't post anything. Um, it's a positive space, right? So don't post anything that's like super negative or um, or, or bad. At the moment, that's running on my SendGrid account. So I think I am currently liable for what goes on there. So um, yeah, please just bear it in mind. Uh, when we are talking on there, and then uh, we've got two more um, action items. So yeah, I haven't shared a proposal framework to use in Discourse yet. If anyone knows of any that they think have seen in other DAOs that have been really useful, please send it, please propose it, please uh, put it through. Um, I basically picked up the bank list hour one, which looks pretty good. But if anyone else has got opinions, um, we can try and get a, a standard framework like you would with a pull request so people can make proposals and share thoughts um, in a sort of consistent way. And then the last one is Nader sharing access to social channels. Again, that's with him at the moment. Um, I can't see why he would have a problem with it. I just haven't managed to lock him down um, to how we'll make that work. Because obviously we can't make those details fully public, but we, we need to be able to use those social channels as a community, I think, more than we currently are. So as far as I know, it's just Nader, um, just Nader using it. So yeah, so hopefully that's um, mostly good news, some good stuff. I think the discourse is going to be really useful for some more structured conversation in particular. But yeah, if you do have a problem signing up, let me know, and I'll just I'll go into that a little bit more later. Um, when we talk about that DAO canvas roadmap and manifesto, um, I've suggested a approach for us to move forward, which I'll allude to, uh, and discourse is in um, um, how we go, go to the next step as a community, which I'll allude to a bit later, um, and discourse is quite a big part of that. Um, but for now, um, enough of me. Um, we'll move on to just some quick project updates. So Mark with Heart, if you don't mind, could you let us know kind of what's happening, what's next, and kind of how people can get involved and any support you need on the website at the moment? Absolutely. I would love to. Hi, everybody. This is With Heart. Um, just a couple updates for the website. Um, first and foremost, we uh, have a new maintainer on the project. That is NARB. And uh, we have a triage team member, which is DiWatts. Um, so we've added those two. Uh, organiz Organization-wise, like we're still kind of figuring out what roles mean. Um, I think that is all going to kind of shift a lot over time as we mature as a as a DAO um, and kind of figure out what we're even trying to do here. Um, but I think those are two good additions for us. Um, aside from that, uh, we have a landing page proposal that is being shaped. Um, Marbiano proposed that, did a lot of the design work, and we've had uh, discussions around 
tweaking the design um, and kind of how we want to go about actually implementing that. So we're kind of looking at it like uh, splitting that into a few pieces where we can have uh, one conversation around the actual copy on the page, another conversation around design needs and how we might want to adjust things, um, and another conversation around how to actually implement that in the project itself using Chakra and themes. So there's a couple of different uh, threads kind of floating around related to this one thing. Uh, and I think this is kind of like our, this is our biggest thing yet that we've tried to, that, we'll, that we're tackling. Um, so it's been interesting seeing people step up to the plate, people wanting to try different ways of doing work and working with each other. So it's uh, pretty exciting times. Uh, I think we're going to learn a lot about our organization just by doing this project and any other projects. Uh, currently, I would say our biggest need right now as a project is uh, translations. Um, we have currently a couple different languages, and it's kind of a mess. So uh, I think what we need in place is a consistent set of translators or people willing to take a look or maybe take responsibility for each of these languages um, so that as English translations uh, are added, for PRs, somebody else can follow up later and add those uh, translations for the other languages in a consistent way. So uh, if anybody wants to act as a translator or you have experience in setting up a, a translation system, um, internationalization system, and kind of a process around that, um, we're looking for ideas or people to, to help out in getting that established. Uh, beyond that, I don't... I can't think of anything big off the top of my head. I don't. I don't think we have uh, much else to announce here. Cool, man. Just open to contributors anyway, right? Like people can jump in if people want to start getting involved and start contributing to the site. Like, like is open door essentially for people to sort of jump in and. Yeah, for sure. Stuff. I mean, there's a. Uh, the nice thing about this being, you know, open open source and kind of in the the DAO with like such a, a focus on decentralizing things. Like what we really need right now is just people that are willing to like take action and take initiative to just say, you know, I, I have an idea. I want to implement it. I want to work with somebody else to implement it. Um, but we're going to take action and make it happen. Um, I think that's kind of the most important thing right now. Uh, I think that'll change over time as we start to get a better big picture view of what we're trying to do and projects and kind of break some of these things down into issues uh, that can be tracked. Um, but right now, not really having a major project, there's not a ton of issues. So you know, if you have ideas, things that you want to work on, things that you want to submit, like we are very open to, to anything from anybody. And if you're not a dev, there's also there's plenty to do. If you have, if you have any skills, really, we can, we can find a use for them. We need Translators, we need writers, we need designers, we need people who care about user experience. Like, really, any any sort of skill that a company might pay you for, we could use in our open source project just as well. So, are you still planning to do the session this week on the landing page? Convert. Are we still planning to do that, like an open session on people that want to see how we go about setting up, like? building that landing page, making use of Chakra and translating that design into reality. Yes, that I, I haven't, I haven't made a time whole thing to figure out when, but we, we talked yesterday in the website meeting about actually trying to do mob programming for part of this, um, where we can just get everybody on a VS code live share session and everybody has access to the same code and can see what each other are doing. And we can kind of like, walk through some of these things and learn and act together. So um, once we get a time set in place for that, uh, I'll be sure to announce that. So anybody that wants to join can. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Yeah, that, that, um, some decisions have obviously been made on that website about using Next.js and Chakra. There are issues tracking why those decisions were made. Uh, if you don't know Next.js, their docs are amazing. If you don't know Chakra, um, there is a free Egghead course um, built by the maintain the maintain maintenance team, core contributors, um, which you can have a look at. And then also this session that Mark's talking about, if you're interested to kind of see how we put that in action. I think that's what we were planning to do on the session, right? Is start 
Is that it? Am I I'm remembering that correctly? Help yeah, I think we were going we were going to look at Chakra's theming system and start to talk about how we might change the Chakra theme uh, mm -hmm. to incorporate the new uh, landing page designs. Um, so kind of like collectively leveling up on our theming abilities. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. Um, do is Gold Zulu still here? Are you hanging out, yep. man? Yeah, still around. Can you hear me? Nice. Yeah, I can hear you. You're a little quiet. But, yeah, um, very quiet. Yeah. Very quiet. Um, Just scream. Scream. Can you hear me? <laughs> it's, la it, it's loud enough, man. If you want to give it like a quick update on where we're at the derivatives project, I know you had that meeting last week. It looks like you guys had pushed forward a fair bit, which is awesome. Okay, okay. Um, well, hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> Um, all right, so yeah, uh, I, we did give a little bit of an update the last town hall meeting. Uh, is my audio still good? Mm -hmm. It's fine, man. Yep, okay. So yeah, so uh, we did give a uh, little bit of update, but just so uh, for the benefit of some people who were not there, um, uh, the Pixel Avatar uh, project or the derivatives projects basically something that we uh, sort of come out with to come out with the different uh, sort of a, a avatar representation of the Genesis token. Uh, and uh, we are currently could be, uh, probably what, two weeks into the, a little bit of two over two weeks into the project right now, uh, where we, are, uh, we make quite a, a bit of uh, progress. Um, the the whole the whole project is like divided into kind of three different work areas. So one of them is actually the design, where uh, it's currently uh, the main contributor is Ignoble. I think he's on this call currently. Uh, he's done a very amazing work. Uh, uh, you know, uh, putting all the different combinations of uh, different pixels uh, uh, that is needed to also sort of represent uh, the avatar that's needed to be generated. Uh, we also have the front end team, which is uh, headed by Rashmon Nelson. Uh, yeah, he he does all the Web three stuff. That's uh, well, it's actually correction. Right now, uh, it hasn't uh, had any Web three stuff uh, sort of uh, embedded into it. But it, it we do have a preview app. Basically, the the objective of the preview app is to help kind of debug uh, what uh, when when someone put in the the number uh, to see what kind of pixel avatars have been generated so far. So because uh, we're still in the progress of uh, building all the different pixels, uh, sorry, different traits. So currently, as I can understand it from Ignoble can probably correct me if I'm wrong, uh, we have done all the different traits, the OS, text editor, location, mind, and vibe. But we're missing the clothing, uh, language, and industry right now. But I think uh, we're making good progress right now. So probably uh, if that can actually be uh, given to us, we are hoping uh, to come up with uh, some kind of a uh, ability for us to test uh, in uh, test uh, in um, I don't know one of the test net basically uh, the smart contract that will allow you to actually mint one token uh, per Genesis token that you actually have. So we also have the uh, I mean the different areas. Uh, the other one is a we also have the. Uh, backend team. So the backend team is currently uh, kind of uh, spearheaded by Ether Insight uh, dot ETH, uh, and that deals with most of the uh, smart contracts. That's uh, that's there. We made quite good progress on that. Uh, we uh, we have actually a smart contract that we took off uh, uh, that is uh, able to mint tokens uh, for uh, existing developer DAO token holders in, in the bodies in test, not in mainnet. Uh, it it also uh, currently I think the progress uh, that we made so far we need to tweak it a bit so that it can be uh, using the uh, metadata uh, descriptions and stuff like that to be more alignment uh, more aligned with uh, OpenSea. So then uh, you know it can it can it can produce or, or give more dis uh, descriptive description when when it's actually uh, tested in OpenSea. So. Uh, it's actually currently test. Uh, if you guys want to play with it, uh, hang around the uh, uh, the developer DAOs. Uh, sorry, the derivatives <laughs> um, Discord channel, uh, and uh, we we also got the the contract uh, um, uh, uh, kind of done in test as well. And you can actually see it, uh, if you go to the repo under Pixel Avatars. Uh, under the README there, you can take a look at uh, the notes there with regards to the contracts if you want to have a look at it. 
Um, I I don't know whether we uh to to get you guys a little bit uh excited. I think it's rather best that I I, I do a quick one. Is it okay, Kemsa? Just a quick uh, screen share for me. Uh, of what you want to share, man? Just the just what was done so far. Just uh, so uh, what are you trying to show? What the uh, what the avatars look like? Yeah, correct. I put it in the developer voice text already, bro. Sorry. If you click the, if you go to the, I think it means like showing the UI. Ah, oh, right, the yeah, go for it, man. The preview app, yeah, very good. Can you guys see me? The site. So you got to click. I think you got to click. I don't know how you get there. Yeah, yeah click the developer's voice channel, and then you can click on Gold Zulu's name, and you'll see a stream. Yeah. yeah I see it. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Can you guys see? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yep. this is the preview app that Russell Mollison has <coughs> done so far. So uh, it's basically just to pull out. So let's say, uh, give me a number. What's your number? Uh, 1948. 1948. Oh, so, big reveal. I'm not seeing this. That will be you. Oh, you're a little <laughs> bit naked because we haven't finished with the clothing and haven't <laughs> yeah. the language and industry. But uh, give me another number. Uh, <laughs> Sorry? 363. 363, okay. 363. Ooh. Uh, that's 363, I think. <laughs> 404. 404. That's 404. Oh, I like that. So, uh, nice. as you can see, yeah, it, it's actually fully working, but if you want to play around with it, this is for more debugging, we can actually change that to the different uh you know uh kind of different thing but obviously there'll be no number that's uh attached to it so like uh, i think mine is a uh, 2272 uh we can see what kind of stuff that's actually on there so i think uh, as you can see it is actually pieced up together and we actually have this uh uh kind of uh this is just a preview app which is pulling out the metadata currently but we also have the the, the actual smart contract that does that in the background as well so yeah, the, nice. that's a uh, kind of a quick uh, uh, thing. So I'll stop streaming now. <laughs> Great, man. That's good. Yep. Yeah, super good yep. progress. You're, we're, we're, we're hoping for October, right? Like mid October, assuming we can get everything uh, else all right. So, so we're hoping for you guys, if you want to, to try and test it, uh, we will probably be done in another week. So before the, the, before the end of next week, we're hoping to have a, a test version. You guys can go in and mint you mint a one to one token. I think the, the main question that we have right now, which is brought about in the previous meeting that we have is that, uh, okay, what do we want to do? Uh, who will be uh, doing marketing? What, uh, what is the, the path that we want, which I think will be up to the kind of uh, the DAO level discussion that we need to have, like, uh, you know, how many people can mint and what around the rules behind it. So I think that will come around, but right now we just, uh, as, I, as I told you, some of you guys, we are the cowboy team everything goes <laughs> see how it goes and then whatever comes out comes out uh, within a week and then we can take it from there dope man i think it looks cool really good stuff um so i won't give an update on discourse because i already have um but uh is it nathang are you here man i think you are i think i saw your name yep hey guys i'm here uh this is nathan um ing is my last name that's why it's there <laughs> Do you want to give an All update good. on the knowledge repo, knowledge base, kind of what you're doing and maybe how people can support? Yeah, for sure. Um, so as a quick update, I mean, this whole quote unquote project uh, started <laughs> as sort of an, let's call it an MVP to tackle uh, one of the, you know, supposed goals of this DAO. I know everything's still being um uh, formalized with a manifesto and everything. But I think one of the biggest goals is learning and sort of continual learning, but also for newer devs into the Web3 space, um, myself included, uh, how can we get in? How can we start uh, learning about all the technologies out there? Because it's obviously a very different beast uh, compared to uh, you know other things that you've learned in the past. So the first thing that we decided to do was to create uh, a GitHub repo with just uh, as a knowledge base. And, uh, and so the resources repo uh, had already been created. And so we sort of used that as a basis 
um, to put in a lot of links that are really great for uh, people to um, just use as a knowledge base and to find other uh, resources on the internet um, to learn more about the Web3 space. Um, so over this past week, uh, I did sort of a first effort to uh, paste in a lot of the links that I used personally when I was learning about this space in. Uh, a lot of the content is from uh, Nader himself, and uh, but also from Austin Griffith and, and a lot of the other content creators that I, I was um, using to learn about Web3. Um, for the time being, it's done as a one pager. Uh, I think if uh, a lot of content is added, it may be beneficial to either split it up or, or do something to organize the content a little bit more. Um, and there's from there, there's basically a lot of, um, uh, I guess, ongoing questions that we'll have to discuss and decide on, you know, uh, how do we handle, like, it would be really beneficial to support content from members of this DAO uh, and sort of use that as a promotional tool if needed uh, to put into the knowledge base. But, um, you know, so how do we really provide that affordance? Uh, for people in this uh, knowledge base, um, you know, um, you know how, how do we continue to grow this? Um, in the future, uh, I threw out a proposal that maybe it'd be great to actually have a bit of like a docs uh, space uh, or knowledge base space in the website. So for people who are really trying to uh, see what this DAO is all about or learn about Web3, uh, they can actually have a really user friendly website uh, on the developerdao.com um, website to you know read through and, and learn about this space and it's sort of curated from all of the members of this DAO. Um, right. Yeah, and uh, you know there's been a lot of other questions like hey maybe we should build uh, a roadmap like not the you know traditional product roadmap but like a learning roadmap for people uh, things like that. Uh, finally, it's uh, the, the last note I wanted to talk about was contribution. Uh, I would sort of love all of your links that have been useful to you. Uh, number one, you can either create a pull request yourself to the resources repo, and uh, I'll get that merged in. Um, if you have other links that, you know, <laughs> doing a pull request takes too long, you can always just tag me on Discord. Uh, or just throw it onto the uh, knowledge base channel on Discord, and I'll make sure to get those links in. Uh, I'll just add everything until it kind of gets unwieldy, and then at that point, <laughs> we'll probably want to curate and condense it a little bit more uh, um, and things like that. So sort of an ongoing discussion, um, but hopefully we'll build out this knowledge base so everyone can really benefit from it. Great. Nice one, Nathan, man. A lot of people had suggested that, and you're the first person that kind of put their hand up to take it on. So, yeah, massive props for um, for getting it moving. Uh, and I think that was a super good summary as well. So there's loads of really useful stuff being shared around the DAO. So um, for the benefit of everyone, um, where possible, if people could put that, either make a PR, like Nathan said, or, or point at him in the direction of the resource, then, yeah, could, could get a really nice knowledge base going. Good stuff, man. Uh, cool. So um, that's it for projects. Next on the list is uh, uh, intention to start using mirror.xyz. And Mark, if you're not uh, otherwise engaged, are you all right to jump in? Yeah, sure. Um, so some big picture context. Um, one of my goals for the DAO in general is to sort of produce a steady stream of content. And that's, um, you know, updates to the world about what the developer DAO is doing, but also uh, to sort of capture what we're learning along this journey and um, make it easier for anyone behind us doing the same thing. But also there's um, a ton of interest in this community already to produce um, content, whether it be tutorial stuff for Web3 uh, technologies or sort of anything developer related really there's a an entire channel dedicated to sharing your content so if you're uh we we as a community uh celebrate your sharing of your learning i think that should be one of the core tenets of um what we're all doing here together so um one of the 
platforms that could be a way for us to share more of this content is a, uh, a platform called Mirror. Um, it is, I think the simplest analogy is that it's uh, like medium.com, the blogging platform, except with Web3 technology baked in. So that theoretically could enable us to uh, monetize content in certain ways. Uh, you can actually do like crowdfunding or token drops on Mirror itself. You could also sell NFTs through Mirror. So there's, there's sort of a lot of possibilities there. And um, I, I don't even, I might not even know half of them. Um, fortunately, we have uh, one of the Mirror developers is a member of this DAO. His name is Flores. I was going to give him a moment to sort of give the Mirror pitch, but he had to run. So we'll save that for uh, potentially next town hall. Um, but the way to get onboarded onto this platform is uh, every Wednesday they have what's called a write race. And essentially um, users or potential users of this platform sort of write up a little pitch for why they sort of like should belong on this uh, platform. And then the, the community votes for them. So we are planning to enter the right race uh, this coming Wednesday. Uh, as a community, uh, you will be able to help us get onto the platform by voting for us. We will explain more details about how that works um, sometime between now and Wednesday. But I uh, just wanted to give everybody a heads up that that's coming up. I think that's all for this update. So, um, Nader has literally just sent me the um, login details for the Twitter Mark, so I can send that forward to you if you want to take a lead on getting it set up. And then maybe if we post something out into the community about um, how they can, pointing them to how they can sign up and, and help us win that vote. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. So uh, just for context, one of the the blockers for not doing this already this, this past Wednesday was that uh, you need to link your account to the Twitter uh, and I did not have Twitter credentials yet. So now we'll be ready to go for uh, next week. So, awesome. Given the size of our community, I think we've got a pretty good chance of winning that. If not next week, then maybe the week after. Um, and I think it uh, would be a great place to broadcast certainly what we're doing as a DAO as well. So yeah, top marks, Mark. I'll, um, I'll send you through those login details and then if we get a post out, um, hopefully everyone can sort of gather around and um, and help us help us get that over the line. Yeah, yeah, the next steps are to, um, um, someone's asking if we already have a mirror profile. Uh, I don't think that we do yet, but we'll, we'll get back to you on that. Um, my next steps are gonna be to, um, to chat with Flores more to talk about um, the timing of everything and, and how we should set it up and then we will make a broadcast about how everybody can uh, best support us. Yeah, to, to um, I can't do the name of who just posted in the developer's voice text. Mark will set up that account and then we'll do a broadcast linking to the account and how you can help support by voting on that right race. But, but basically you need to sign up and then you'll get allocated a, to a rights token or a, a percentage of a right token which you can use to vote on who you want to be accepted to the platform and every Wednesday the top 10 people in the leaderboard of votes get onboarded onto the platform so um, yeah the more people we can get signing up and and um, kindly sharing their vote with the DAO the sooner we can get a platform secured on there which I think could be, would be awesome. Yeah I think the last detail I left out there was that um it is sort of implied that any revenues created through um, Mirror mm -hmm. or or elsewhere would go to sort of the, the community treasury for us as a community to decide what to do with. Yeah, totally. I've seen some pretty interestingly sized crowd funds and, and then FT launches through Mirror as well. So I think it has a long tail to it, which could be really valuable. Like Noble, were you going to jump in there, mate? Sorry, I saw you come off mute. Yeah, I I think we are um, reaching a, 
a place where uh, we are starting the we need to organize ourselves for example if we want we win the the mirror race um, we need to organize who's going who's going to write uh, there who's going to collaborate there who's going to do the editing so we need to start um, developing a editorial team to to manage that um, we also have the uh, upcoming launch of the NPT. So we need uh, uh, somebody to help with the social media um, to advertise and to and to help us with that. And um, we need a we need we need a wallet. We need we, we are going to need a, a, to develop a treasure. So we need people to to start helping with that. Um, we are um, reaching a point where we need to, to start organizing because um, the projects we are doing um, are reaching conclusion and um, there are more ne more things to do that just um, working on on the web page or something so um, I think we start we need to start doing that yeah absolutely totally um, on the safe. You can't use a Genosif safe with Mira, so Mark's going to crack on, I think, and set up a separate wallet, and then we'll have to we'll have to sort the safe. We definitely need to sort all of that stuff. 100%. I'm totally on board with that. That's kind of what the the next section was about as well. Just kind of give an update on a suggestion that that I'd made. Um, apologies to everyone, but offline into the mod chat on how we can take a like a um, how we can start moving forward with and structure and aims and goals. Um, so, uh, after last week's call, I mentioned at the start, one of the goals was to start trying to um, reach some consensus around our mission, values, and goals. So, the, the PR that I shared earlier, I found a template, basically, for like mapping out a DAO in terms of like, what are the values and goals, um, what's the big picture, how are we going to get there, how is it going to be organized. So, I'll reshare that PR now in case anyone hasn't seen it. Um, I've locked comments and PRs on that pull request purely because there's a thousand of us in this server. And um, if everyone just starts making pull requests, it's gonna get super hard for us to kind of get to a, get to a consensus. So what I'm suggesting is I w if everyone can start feeding, feed, feeding back on that template and the stuff that's in there at the moment with a caveat that it is very much a work in progress, but we want as much input into that what that finally looks like as possible. And then uh, in a slightly centralized way, create another version and then publish that based on the feedback and then and then push that out as well. I think if we try and do this as a thousand people in a server, I think it's gonna be really, really difficult. So hopefully no one minds too much, but with a little bit of centralization to get this stuff defined um, based on feedback from the community, I think it's gonna allow us to move much, much faster. So I'm just trying to find that uh, PR again whilst I'm chatting, bear with me a sec. Um, one of the things that is mentioned in that PR is about initiating uh, like a season zero. So a lot of DAOs have this kind of concept where they launch and lots and lots of stuff isn't defined. And then they have a, a, uh, a time bound period where they focus on a set um, of goals that they want to get in place and deliver on. So they have the foundations in place to be able to, uh, thanks Will, uh, to be able to move forward as a community with some kind of foundation in place um, to, to provide some structure for making proposals against a mission statement, against an agreed kind of idea of what the DAO is trying to achieve, rather than um, us all putting forward ideas and, and kind of struggling to, to find that consensus and build that momentum around what's happening. So there is a channel under projects, which is called DAO Manifesto. So please read that PR. Please drop any thoughts you've got in there. What I've suggested is hopefully by the next community call, we can have a version 0.1 that we're quote unquote happy with for that DAO canvas, which is like a map of who we are, what we care about, what we want to do, and some ideas about how that might work. And then, um, make a proposal about how we enter into this season zero um, and uh, which will basically say um, 
here's what we want to achieve and here's what we want to achieve it by. And it will be based off that DAO canvas and helping us achieve the goals and the values and the mission that's laid out in that DAO canvas. So I've got my fingers crossed that we can get that done by next week. Um, and that's where kind of discourse starts to become more important in terms of having a, an environment where um, less sort of scattergun discussion about these kind of topics. So the discourse is up and running. It's at forum.developerdao.com. Um, at the moment, there are two sections, proposals, which is for formal proposals. Uh, I, If anyone's got a suggestion of a template for making proposals, please send it through. I was kind of defaulting to using something similar to the Bankless DAO one. Um, in terms of making proposals, until we've got that um, consensus or soft consensus around who we are and missions and goals and whatnot, proposals maybe don't make proposals, but there's a general chat as well. So if there's anything that you want to brain dump around how we should be doing certain things, could be any topic, just thoughts that you want to share. If you create a topic within general on the discourse and try and provide as much context, as much um, references or whatever in terms of what you're trying to get across, and then we can try and open up a, a space for some more, um, yeah, like sort of considered discussion about how we can tackle some of these areas. Um, and then once we've got this consensus on our mission values of goals, certainly as kind of like version 0.1, people can then, it's then easier for people to make proposals and tie them into those mission values and goals. And then we've got that kind of foundation where we can start pushing forward. Um, and also the forum, I think, is a good place where we can have a, 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 a spot or a space for outside contributors to be able to pitch in opportunities to collaborate as well. So I might create another category called outside collaborators and encourage people to propose um, certain of like whatever ideas they've got around uh, around collaborating. Um, but yeah, so like obviously this is a DAO, right? We are moving towards decentralized organization, but we don't have any of this moment to be able to have those discussions in a um, structured way and be able to decide on those discussions in a structured way. So um, part of season zero, I expect, will be defining how those conversations happen. Um, but we're starting to get the baseline infrastructure in place to be able to foster those conversations. So um, whilst um, I think there's probably been some fair amount of frustration in that lack of direction uh, or process around in decisions and govern governance, like hopefully we can start accelerating that and making it happen. And then once we've got this season zero or sprint zero, maybe it might be better, Mark suggested for developer terms, um, we can then have some clear ambitions and goals for short midterm that we want to get done in that season zero. And we can start allocating responsibility to people to, to, to go and research and provide potential solutions to that, which we can then agree on as a community. Picture that happening as a proposal for our gut government stack in uh, discourse and then everyone starts commenting in that and and then we we try and come to a soft consensus around how we approach that uh, and then sort of next leap into the future when we start thinking about um, sort of more formalized governance processes we might do more hard con when we're talking about funding and stuff but for now I think that provides a good set of tools hopefully for us to be able to move forward um, and hopefully um, uh, people uh, don't mind too much about the early sense purely just and move things forward. Um, we absolutely want as much input so we can feed that in to the um, to these proposals, these early proposals, and get that kind of baseline in place. Um, I think Mark just said that Nader's joined. Are you knocking about Nader? Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm listening. And, uh, everything everything that y'all talked about, you know, makes a lot of sense, and um, I think that. You know, those types of trade-offs also make sense, at least right now. Of course, like, we surface all this stuff for everyone to participate in. But, um, you know, we, we come to some soft consensus, like you mentioned, to move forward. And, you know, uh, in, in, in the meantime, do give the opportunity for everyone to, to, to opt in to, you know, give their own feedback around all these decisions. Cool. Are you waiting for a plane, by any chance? I'm actually in a, uh, an Ethereum conference in Atlanta, so uh, someone's giving a talk. I'm just in the very back of the room. <laughs> Dope, man. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, 
if we want to move forward, I think we that that kind of as Nada said that that kind of um, uh, centralization to, to to get that stuff moving, I think is important. Um, but we want to surface all of that stuff so people can input into it, and then ultimately it's going to be a proposal anyway, right? So if the proposal goes out and the majority of the community will change, um, we just want to get stuff moving basically. Uh, but yeah, um, I guess that's kind of me. I spoke for quite a lot. Um, I don't know if you want to open the floor, if anyone's got anything that they particularly want to raise or any queries about anything that was just mentioned. Yeah, I'd love to hear from some other folks. Hey, yeah, this is uh, this is Jack. Uh, this is my first time joining the call, but um, I loved uh, everything that I was hearing there. Um, I do think it's important, um, you know, like you mentioned, uh, uh, like it's mentioned previously in the call, you know, borrowing from other DAOs is, I think, is going to be hugely important in terms of trying to, uh, you know, maybe not reinvent the wheel in some cases. And uh, I think we're kind of narrowing down on that. Um, I was just on a call or uh, one of the um, ETH online meetings um, that really focused on that. You know, a lot of this stuff is uh, really cutting edge. And so there's a, not a lot of precedent for how we set these things up. So um, it's good to see that, you know, we're, we're looking to uh, other organizations um, for how we organize ourselves. But, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks. Awesome. Great point. I really I really like the idea. And I think that's kind of also the conclusion I'm, I'm starting to draw after going through this whole process for the first time, because there is just so much, you know, and it uh, is quite overwhelming when you start kind of actually getting into the processes that all happen here, even though honestly, uh, Kempster has been doing such a fantastic, amazing job, uh, powerhouse type of work, it seems in the past couple of weeks, um, along with a lot of other uh, contributors to kind of like get these things moving. When you start looking at all these these moving pieces, um, I have been doing research. I'm like, okay, like what, what are other people doing? And then you can kind of go um, see some of their, you know, content, some of their, you know, the things that they've done and they're extremely helpful. And um, it, it does make sense to not re reinvent the wheel. So if anyone has any, you know, examples of, of, of other DAOs uh, doing governance or making, you know, any of these types of decisions that uh, would help us out here, please share them somewhere uh, for us to see. I'd also like to just second that on Kemp's work. Like, you're, uh, you've really been the heart and soul of things lately. So just want to, like, give another shout out and say thanks a lot for everything you've been doing for us lately. Booyah. Oh, yeah, two, two cheers for Kemp. Keep peep. Hey, right. this, this here, here. Sorry, I was hey. going to say this is Will here. Was going to say, um, but yeah, no, no doubt, Kemp. We we've been DMing, um, d doing a great job. I think now with Discord set up, now with with Discord set up, you know, we've got the tools now where we can get some more of that content out there. I'll be posting um, a couple thoughts that I know I've been talking with some of you you all about, um, just around kind of moving slowly as far as choosing the stack for the DAO, uh, like like Nader. Or like others are saying, you know, all this stuff is super new. And, you know, I've seen I've seen in Web2 how you can get an organization kind of stuck with technical debt, managerial debt by by choosing your stack too soon. So that's something that's important to me is is that we be smart about how we select that. Um, so I'll, I'll be using discourse and the forum to, to kind of get some of those thoughts out there. But all in all, just just moving forward a lot. I think the other thing, too, is as we think about the manifesto you all put out. Um, for me, what I'm looking for is just a little more focus around what those goals are. Um, you know, I, I know one of the problems I've seen in other DAOs, and I know we're all thinking about is like, is making sure that we don't try to be everything for everybody, right? Like we've got, mm -hmm. you know, 1700 users now. And so um, we're just not going to be able to have 1700 missions, right? And, and so thinking through that is something that's important to me. Yeah, I would love your feedback around some of those that we have out there as well and, and anyone else. So, like, you know, if you feel like you can contribute to the vision because it's all of our vision together, uh, that would be amazing. Um, so that type of feedback is is, is definitely encouraged yeah. from everyone. We'll yeah. do. We'll do. And I also wanted to say uh, I know that um, chatting in Discord is super easy, but I think this using discourse as much as possible will be a really good way to get the sentiment of how everyone feels in this, because obviously like we're not able to really poll 
everyone in Discord on a constant basis because of just the short-term nature of how everything is. I would really encourage everyone, if you're having a really good, genuine discussion about something, especially if it's related to the direction the DAO is going in or anything like that, is to move it instead of like a thread or just commenting back and forth in the channels. That is an excellent place to use discourse and this forum because this will really only be as good as we're using it. Um, because it is very easy to just have everyone talking in here and to let the kind of discourse forum fall to the wayside. I would just really encourage you, and since y'all are in this call, y'all are obviously a subsection of everyone in this community. If you see something happening, you know, try to make it permanent so that we can all kind of get an idea of where everyone's heads are at any of these ideas. If we can put them in a more permanent place, I think it'll only benefit everyone. Yeah, I'm totally with that. and. If you've come to a conclusion or you've come to a, a, a thought process, it was really useful to share people the context of how you got there. So if there's resources that help you get there, um, or there's examples of other DAOs like that helped you form that opinion or helped you uh, build that knowledge base, like try and share as much of that context as possible. But I, I think it will help the structured nature of those conversations to kind of back up the, the point that you're trying to make, but also educate everyone. So the conversation has has that more value, um, and we kind of we get to a get get to a better outcome eventually. Yeah, I think that's super key. Um, I kind of view it as like wanting to build a self-documenting DAO, right? So like as we do things, it's just kind of part of the process. And I I think there's like specific conversations we need to have to understand what that means for different things, but we can also just like take it upon ourselves to document things. So as we're you know, whether you're opening issues or opening something on discourse or talking in discord like the more context you can put in like kim said to help other people understand why you're thinking that and what it is you're thinking the better it will be for everybody whether that's people in the conversation or people coming later who are trying to understand what you're talking about just like dump as much context into as many things as you can Such a sound, that's a perfect soundbite, mate. Mark, uh, self documenting down. I love it. Yeah, does anyone else have anything they want to they ask or just chime in on? Hey, hey, this is Will again. I was just going to ask how how could um, here a little more visibility into um, the, the C Club conversation or, or play a role in that? Is there anything we can do yet? Um, you know, and, and we talked last time, of course, about, you know, DAOs are not leader, leaderless. So we definitely, you know, look, look to your leadership camp, the, the other mods as well. But is there something that we can do on that or any any information on that? Yeah, absolutely. I think what you can do and what everyone here can do is contribute to some of these um, properties that we're kind of like building out, like the uh, mission statement, uh, like the discourse, you know, uh, be active in these conversations um, because basically what I'm planning to do is, you know, once we get all of these things ironed out over the next couple of weeks, I'm planning to kind of take what we have like as a package and like set up a meeting with them and try to kind of, you know, discuss possible support, uh, you know, with them. Of course, before I do that, I'm going to, you know, speak about it uh, within the discord to get everyone's sentiment on it because, you know, I want to make sure that everyone would be, uh, or the majority of us would be like cool with that, but uh, but that's kind of my planning here. Like we're we're still polishing and ironing out. Like you know we're even just getting started with some of this stuff. Um, I think like once we have a little bit more of a track record in a few weeks and we've actually um, set up some of this stuff, then I will feel more comfortable going there and, and being like, look, uh, we might want your help here. Uh, you know we have this community and the, this number of people in this uh, amount of activity and these are our goals and, and, and we have these members that are you know active I think that would be uh, you know compelling and that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking um, I was actually extremely blown away with my conversation with Gitcoin this week it was actually kind of an impromptu the meeting about I mean like when I say impromptu it was actually a meeting that was planned about something completely different like a month ago before this was even a thing, I think, um, or before, like, you know, like we, we did all this stuff and um, the entire meeting just basically turned into like Gitcoin. Uh, the person I met with, uh, you know, he's really great. 
kind of trying to kind of figure out ways for us to collaborate. And they, they seemed extremely motivated to be uh, involved with us, uh, you know, financially, but also like with their network and stuff. So I think that that relationship is also something I really want to figure out. And I think that, um, you know, with us doing all this stuff, once we have a little bit more of these details ironed out, it will be a lot more, it'll, it'll be a lot easier to kind of start taking advantage of some of those relationships and getting more involved with uh, with some of that stuff. So, um, yeah, anyone here, and I kind of mentioned this, uh, of course, before, and, and, and I'll just reiterate it. Yeah, I mean, some of the main stuff we want to focus on right now is just keeping the, the momentum going and having people um, step up and, and take ownership of some of this stuff. Um, I have been doing, you know, as much as I can, but I haven't been that active, honestly, as I would have liked to be. And uh, I continue to have a very busy schedule. Um, I do want to continue to be heavily involved, like when I can, <laughs> but like it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a team effort here with everything. But as far as like like leadership types of uh, decisions and, and discussions, I would be ha completely happy to kind of throw uh, my ideas and be in those discussions and kind of give my thoughts and, and all of that whenever anyone uh, feels that uh, that's something that we're going to be discussing and stuff. Nader, this is with heart. Um, something that I think would be extremely useful for myself personally, uh, and probably for the DAO too, is if you could get uh, somebody from Seed Club or Gitcoin or any of the other orgs that uh, want to you know, try to collaborate with us or work with us to maybe come in and give a, a presentation to the community about like what it is that they do and how they might be helpful to us as an organization. Absolutely. That's like a really, really fantastic idea. Let me go ahead and, and set up. Uh, let me go ahead and make a note right now to kind of do that with. I think the first one I could probably set up would be with uh, Gitcoin. Um, and I think the Seed Club stuff, you know, um, I can reach out to them for sure, but I don't know how, you know, I think it's more of like they have so many people lined up to, to, um, to ask for their help. I'm hoping that I can get them like 15 or 30 minutes to come talk to us. I think that I think that that, that, that they would though. So um, that, that's a great idea. And thanks for throwing that out there. And I'll reach out to them and, and try to get something set up. And if I can, um, I will definitely come back and, and let you all know. And uh, the Seed Club person, of course, like his name is like um, not on the top of my head right now, but he's actually part of the DAO, so um, he's already in here. Oh, very nice. Thank you for setting that up. Thanks for the suggestion. Open floor. Is there any other questions that anyone wants? Yeah, to just real community? quick. I don't know if Nader is seeing chat. So is there anything that you need from the community for elevator pitch type content where you're talking to these DAO space groups? Mm. Not that I could think of. I think uh, I think a really nice, you know, mission statement, um, you know, with with all of our combined uh, idea, you know, ideas and, and thoughts and vision and stuff would be a great thing to have. Um, and I think that that's going to be one of the main things I think we need to, to, to work on. And I think other than that, you know, just all of the stuff maybe that we, we already talked about. All right. Thank you. Cool. Anything, any, anyone else? Anything top of mind? Right. Maybe a quick plug on how often these happen, when the next one might be. Yeah, I can shout. So that came up at the start mark. So it definitely came up last week about the um, cadence and timing of these meetings. Um, the first few meetings were 5 p.m. UTC out of votes. And then we just went ahead with that. It was brought up last week that this probably might not be the best time for everyone. We're obviously never going to please everyone. Um, I think we need to take a vote as a community to find the best time that works for, for the most people. So that was basically what we agreed last week. It just got away from me a little bit this week and I didn't get around to it. So um, 
do you do, do do we think that sort of taking a vote on maybe best day and then best time is the best approach um or i don't know if anyone wants to chime in with an opinion um we also have the possibility of of um doing one time one week and one time the next week so other people can contribute like, i don't know if anyone wants to chime in for what they think would be the best approach and then if if someone wants to take ownership of organizing that vote great if not i'm quite happy to do it Um, maybe not like uh, super opinionated on the actual days and times, but it does sound like a good case for using discourse because you'll be able to see the log and point back to it. Because right now, if you were to tell me that, yeah, we uh, had a vote and a discussion on it, um, similar vote as Nader, that I haven't been as active as I wanted to be the last couple of weeks, but like I wouldn't know exactly where to look for that or what the vote count was. Um, just just shilling more dis discourse usage cool there's definitely a voting functionality in discourse we might have to do a couple of different posts i think i don't know i'll have a look um but yeah i like the idea of having a record that we could excuse me that we can refer back to um in the future and obviously it doesn't need to be static for infinity time like if we find that it's not working we can always refine it um but has anyone else got any um thoughts on that in terms of how we maybe make these meetings a bit more inclusive man this is such a black hole topic my my in <laughs> intuition is to choose um one time one week and then a different time the following week so that it's familiar or like uh, more friendly to two different spheres anyway um maybe that's a good place to start and we don't have to over complicate it beyond that and we can always iterate Cool. To have like two alternating times, maybe that's better for one time zone, and then the next week it's better for a different time zone. Ship it. Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Let's get this shit merged. Um, cool. Is there anything else anyone wants to wants to voice, wants to ask, is wants to know more information about? Yeah, I mean, I would love to know if uh, if anyone here has had uh, you know, any experience with any other DAOs that uh, they can kind of maybe talk about um, things that they feel like have worked and, and that we might be able to incorporate or just general ideas in general of what they've seen there that they think is interesting. Hey, one, one of the things that um, Kemp and I were talking about is is definitely liking the kind of seasonal approach that we've seen with Bankless DAO. Um, kind of, and, and Mark mentioned, you know, maybe calling it sprints from a, a dev standpoint, but just giving us a chance to kind of have like a start and end in time um, and just, you know, really, really let us iterate and not feel like everything is so permanent. So really like that. I, I've seen, like I talked about earlier, many DAOs fall into the, you know, everything for everybody and, and get too wide too quick and just in, end up really thin. Um, so that's that's why that's a concern of mine is, is just because I've seen it in, in, in a few DAOs that, that I've been watching. So but happy to hear other people's thoughts as well. Love the idea of this sprint. That's so cool. <laughs> but, I, but yeah, the season or the sprint, both of those are, uh, are awesome. What, what, what do people think around uh, the idea of like having events as one of the main things that we're kind of like about? Um, I feel like a lot of the impromptu types of, you know, things that you can do within Discord, you know, um, and just with the content sharing and, and teaching and all of the things that kind of go along with the modern uh, developer experience as a developer in your life. Uh, kind of like align really well with with events and when i say events it could be live streams it could be actual conferences it could be you know whatever but i feel like there's so much like opportunity for synergy within events it could be like a new way for events to be like reimagined um and i just feel like that might really align well with some of the stuff but at the same time and i feel like it's also a lot more it's, it's a lot easier to kind of take what we have and turn it into something in, in, in that in that area versus just saying oh we're gonna like build products or we're gonna like do this or that um so i would love to hear what people think about that and um any other like ideas around you know uh what we could what we could do to kind of like have these segmented areas for our vision like what what else uh, what else could we do 
I think there's actually a, a really uh, sort of beautifully harmonious like relationship that we can have between the things we're building and the presentations that we give. So for example, like a first event could include how to um, get started with Trapper UI or any like any of the tech stack we're using in the website. Like another talk could be how to build and deploy a an NFT given by the team who's building the the pixel art, the derivatives project, et cetera, et cetera. I love it. I love, uh, is anyone else have any ideas or, or thoughts around like some of the stuff we just discussed? I love that thing that Mark just said is great as well. Like it could be a a requirement of a project that's going to get backed by the DAO, but you document what you did and then you share that publicly. And then we just, then we can have like a stream of uh, events and content that we can put out there. I think that's a demo. And I think it also allows for a lot of, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say at the beginning of the call, um, someone mentioned uh, doing like a mob a coding session with Chakra, and I think that's a great idea. And there may be even some areas where we could, you know, incorporate uh, a little bit of both, like have a, you know, halfway be an event where people can come participate. They don't need to code necessarily, but then have, you know, eight, you know, five or six people all coding and sharing different, uh, you know, syntax or practices and and it would be a great way to, you know, kind of make the process of, of contributing to open source a little bit less intimidating. Um, so I think there's uh, it's definitely a good idea, and, and I want, definitely want to participate in that uh, that Chakra UI um, kind of mob uh, coding session. Um, but uh, events, again, great idea. We have such a great talent pool here. Um, you know, uh, be ashamed to, to not share it. Hell yeah, and I think like with the... Um... I think with events, it also really, really creates a lot of opportunity for collaboration and um, and leveraging other people's networks. Because like, let's say like one week we have Cloudflare come and present, one week we have The Graph, one week we have Consensus, or we do an event with all these other, you know, projects and um, the the leveraging like of these networks gives you that those network effects, which also therefore gives us more visibility um, so there's that to take into consideration. Yeah, I think one of the, the biggest things we can do for ourselves is to like think about how to Did he break up for anyone else or is it me? Yeah, he cut out. Sorry, my I got a phone call and it cuts my computer off. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so Oh no, more phone calls. They just keep spam calling me. That's great. Uh, I think that like if we uh, think about like learning in public, not just as individuals. <laughs> Mark's going to type it. I'll, I'll read it once he's typed it. <laughs> I think his general consensus is that about learning in public and sharing what we're doing as much as. Um, and if we build that into our workplace and how we're doing as well, almost get content for free and get um, exposure and, and, and give back to the community for free as well. So how about we start a channel um, and people who want to join those projects can, can join. And that way we, we um, make a, a team for that um, and for all the things that we need. Yeah, so part of the um, that DAO canvas that um, we got going, I put some stuff in it, Nadia's put some stuff in it, uh, is about um, trying to formulate a better, like clearer roles and responsibilities, and then giving people responsibilities for for like shepherding those areas and those teams. So other DAOs that I've seen, and I'd love to get, I've seen like Bankless have like the Writers Guild, the Developers Guild, the Marketing Guild or whatever, then there'll be people that are responsible for shepherding those teams forward and also onboarding new people can contribute in that space in terms of that they might do like a reaction role and they're interested in writing dev and then hopefully that we can get to a point where it's organized where those people can kind of find their home more easily um i i personally um i'm a bit apprehensive about continuing to add more stuff to the server right now. Um, I think a team of people or someone 
needs to come together and propose a structure for organization that we can then move forward with. Because I think if we keep adding stuff, um, it's going to get harder to be organized rather than easier. I, my, the, the general feeling that I've got is from, from people is that it's maybe not the easiest server to navigate in the world. So I think that my opinion is I think that definitely needs to happen, but um, maybe we need to put the brakes on, think about how we structure it and uh, and then move forward with a consensus of how the organization is going to work. If that's project based or expertise based and guild based or whatever it may be. Um, and then the uh, and then have uh, sorry, and then the moderator's jobs largely can be making sure that that structure is adhered to. So if you see conversations happening, they're interested in the place, you can point them to those different directions and we can try and get that kind of natural ecosystem and organization happening. Um, I don't know what anyone else thinks, but um, that's kind of where I got to with my thinking from kind of dwelling on it for the, for the last few days. Yeah, uh, I'll say plus one to, to that. Yeah. I can't imagine checking more channels. Uh, at this point in time, although I do think like um, all of these discussions are <coughs> worth having, um, especially like in the more general places, I think it's totally fine to discuss multiple projects, um, and then you'll kind of see the need arise if like every time I go to the developers channel, they're talking about some project, it'll kind of become apparent that it needs to have its own channel at that point. Do we have anyone in the server that's been involved in community building before? Organization of servers who's on the call at the moment? No, but I've, j I've just seen it done, but never managed it. But I think I think what you said is right. Let's start with the let's start with the mission and the value, and then as we think through the things we're talking about here, we can we can think how to structure it. Um, I have a quick question about, um, or a quick thought around, this is going back to the events um, idea. If we decided to start doing some of these types of like outward facing events where we kind of were, um, you know, having people come and speak, do you all think it would make sense to kind of make these completely free and public or make them private within the, uh, this, the server? I think like the way I'm thinking maybe is like we do a little bit of both where we have like larger scale events that are, you know, available for anyone in the world to, 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 to view, uh, again, leveraging like network effects. And then we have like specialized, like one off, uh, you know, talks within the server for uh, developer DAO members. Yeah, I think that makes sense, especially if you were talking about, um, you know, we were talking about Mirror earlier and creating different content and perhaps that can lead to workshops. Workshops can be held here for members, and then we can then also have those bigger outward facing events that you mentioned that kind of drum up interest. Um, I think there's also potential for the uh, kind of membership to the DAO being like a ticket of sorts where you can then also send outward facing workshops where if you're not a developer, developer DAO member, you can perhaps pay X amount of tokens or whatever to attend, and that's a way to boost up treasury. Um, I haven't done a lot of thinking on that, and that's more of an idea that I had just thought of. I don't know what y'all think about uh, a model like that. No, that sounds like uh, Friends with Benefits had an article in some mainstream thing I read recently, and they had a party with an app that supported it, and you could buy tokens at the door if you wanted. I mean, this was an in-person event, but I think we could probably do something like that. And that also jives with the season idea. You know, here's this limited term access token, if you will. Maybe we can follow that same, I don't know if you, you guys saw the the, the time NFT uh, drop where basically that you buy like a NFT from, from Time Magazine and they give you like a membership for like a year, uh, as long as you hold that token to, to some, to their, to their magazine online. So perhaps we can follow like a similar model to that, where it's like you can buy uh, like having, or perhaps um, having a, a the the Genesis NFT, or maybe like the Pixel Art NFT, or something gives you uh, access for X amount of time, or unlimited. You you have lifetime access to to all the content you want, and then 
crafts. There's like another NFT where only if you want to buy it, you get like the shorter duration of, of time, you get access to this uh, extra content. I don't know. What do you guys thoughts are on that? Yeah, I think I think we're all saying um, a lot of the same same things, which is probably want a combination, uh, like Nader mentioned. Mm -hmm. I like those. Yeah, I mean, public definitely helps with the overall brand, and then private helps with adding value to those who are members of the DAO. Yeah, so maybe once a month, you know, public ones, and then uh, you know, a or uh, that is done uh, actually, uh, you know, for, for a month, you can have all the co-working. Uh, I don't know what you guys have seen uh, Build Space before. I like the idea of co-working sessions where they have uh, uh, people, you know, just coming in and working on cer uh, certain things at, uh, one, uh, at one time. And then if there's people who want to help or whatever, they can, they can, they can come and mentor all these people uh, working on it. Yeah, I love that. Um, and, and man, there's so many things to actually explore in, in this area. Um, and I think it just aligns so freaking well. Um, you know, one of the things that we could do, you know, this is just another idea, of course, I'm not saying we should do this, but, um, you know, it's fairly, it's extremely, extremely low friction and easy to jump into something like StreamYard and have a live event streamed out to Twitter, YouTube, and wherever else. Um, and it doesn't take a lot of work to invite people that have things that they want to kind of get out there. And it gives you a way to kind of have a platform without having to spend a lot of time and effort creating content. Um, and you're kind of like leveraging your own audience. And in our case, it would be developer DAO and me and anyone else here that has an audience that can kind of like spread the awareness about the event or the stream. And like we we'll, we'll, we'll use our platform and then we're using their content and like it's a win-win um, situation. So if you've ever seen my live streams, I have people come on from like, um, you know, like uh, various places. But instead, maybe we could uh, have like a developer DAO like weekly stream where we have like a guest on for like 30 minutes or an hour from Akash or, um, you know, Solana or Ethereum Foundation. Um, but I think like one thing to, to, to consider if we want to like really make, make a loud splash and make some noise here in the next couple of uh, months would be to kind of organize a uh, like an event, um, like our initial like um, like event where we have like maybe eight talks. And um, I don't think it would be hard at all to kind of like get really eight high profile, like really, really interesting people to kind of come on and uh, and do like a stream yard event. And, and again, it's not a lot of um, it's not a lot of like organization to get one of these put together. Actually, you just literally send them um, a link to StreamYard and a Tom and they, and they come and, and everything is just uh, set up. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've done quite a few of these, but um, you know, that might be like a way to kind of like make a splash. We have like a developer DAO conference and um, you know, it's, it would be a good way for people to kind of like start. It would just make a lot of noise. And like, honestly, like we, we want the combination of quality things happening within, you know, the server and, and us getting this stuff. But having awareness will be just bringing so much synergy to kind of like the next phase of what we're trying to do uh, around getting, you know, funding and stuff like that. I think the, um, the community as well could do with the projects to gather around. Um, like a big something, something that we like everyone can pitch into to try to make happen as a way to kind of drive that. Um, yeah, drive the engagement in the community and get everyone. Which, yeah, um, absolutely. Maybe like a nice mix of like, you know, um, anyone here that has ideas that like uh, that wants to submit a CFP, we do like 50%, you know, um, DDAO members even. That would be really interesting. Don't, and I, I, a thought that came to mind when I can't remember what Noah was saying uh, specifically, but if we're spinning up projects looking at building certain things and we need to learn things to be able to do that, I, I, I've, it's got a, like if we reached out to like say we were building a project that needed to integrate with Chainlink, I don't know, or anything else, I suspect that it would be quite easy for us to reach out to the DevRel teams at these companies and say, hey, look, we're building this new, we've, we've got a massive community of developers. Do you want to come in and do like an internal talk? But I think 
making those things happen would be quite easy as well. Um, mm -hmm. Although those of you that work in DevRel might be able to uh, to correct me if that's wrong, but I would have thought they would be teams like that if we're going to use their tools would be super in and, and showcase. We're literally the exact audience that those people are looking for. I mean, really, the alignment between stuff like that just is, is so, um, you know, it's so straightforward. Like it's like a perfect fit. And I also think that's why Gitcoin is so interested as well because it's the exact same uh, idea. Dope. Um on kind of like building that kind of like media arm of the DAO as well. I think maybe not right now, but soon getting together like a monthly, maybe monthly or weekly, I don't know what the cadence would be. Update newsletter of what's happening in the DAO would be super useful as well um, for building that kind of like another property that we've got that has value and also a way for the DAO, the DAO to stay up. People in the DAO to stay up to date of what's going on if they can't be there all the time. So discourse. And then people outside the DAO to see what we're doing and build interest for um, for, for people wanting to join the DAO. And... Maybe that's something we can look to add to the to the website. Perhaps like a newsletter or blog section or something that basically has like uh, an outline of all the cool stuff we're doing and and, and and perhaps like a like a summary or something around like the topics we discussed in town hall. But I don't know, I don't know about that part, but yeah, definitely um, more, we can we can look to add some of this content on, on the website itself to attract some attention to it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and for, no, people no that aren't, for people that aren't gonna join now, giving them a way to get involved and keep up to date could be super useful as well. And like just thinking from a purely like value point, um, lists like that are quite valuable. So if we're thinking about growing the organization and ensuring value in the future, doing these events and putting them on YouTube and building up a subscriber base, super powerful, building mailing lists, all of this stuff is really, really powerful for building value as a community. Um, I think it, it could be a, a good thing to get started on not too late, if that makes sense. Yeah, I also look at it like, you know, this is a very anarchistic sort of like process where it's just kind of chaos until it isn't as we figure things out. And I think a lot of these things are just like a natural, a natural product of organizational maturity. Like as we understand ourselves as a collective and we have a good shared sense of like the future, it'll be very easy for people to start to just put together a newsletter or, you know, add content to the site that furthers that. So I think it's good for us to like pick, targets that we want to work towards. Um, but also I think a lot of these things are just going to kind of come as we get to them, as we mature to the point where we're ready for it. Yeah, totally, so. totally. Really excited about the conversations we're having today, actually. I think we're fishing out that learning and giving back to the community is one of our core, core values. I think. Uh, oh, go ahead. Yes, just just a uh, uh, just a quick uh, kind of uh, uh, suggestion. Uh, I, I know we don't want to add too many channels and stuff like that, but one thing I, I'm actually part of the AWS Community Builder, and one thing that uh, I find quite good is they actually have a Slack. I mean, on the Slack channel, there's actually a Boost channel, uh, where anybody who actually write content uh, on behalf of a AWS can actually put it down there and then after that other people uh, basically look at it and start to kind of give it a boost like in terms of number of views, number of uh, retweets, number of whatever. So whatever content that's basically being generated as we go along uh, to teach people, to make people learn about the DAO, uh, we put into sort of one, one place where everybody can, can link to it and then after that retweet and, and boost it out. Uh, I, I, I feel that that works pretty well. Yeah, I think that's great. And we have share your content. I just don't think we necessarily have a practice of people making those boosts. Uh, but if we, I think that's like a fantastic idea as well. And um, I, you know, I, I have the Twitter handle, and I actually just gave uh, you know the um, handle also to Kempster. And uh, maybe we can get a couple of other Twitter mods for the developer DAO account. 
and we can uh, be we can go out of our way to, to boost stuff um, either from the share your content uh, channel or we can maybe rename that to like boost your content and then that way you're like getting the message across where people can like share their content and then like we're also encouraging people to boost it so that's just maybe a thought but uh like the developer DAO uh, Twitter handle like we should definitely be boosting the members content there makes total sense I personally will will do it for my own Twitter account when I feel like it uh, aligns with my audience and other other members as well. Yeah, I hope I didn't hijack the conversation. <laughs> And I think you came in at a good time because we were kind of tailing off anyway. For sure, absolutely. Are we, is there anything else that, um, is there anyone that wants to put something forward, kind of, like ask any questions before we wrap up? Well, if we're going to be wrapping it up, I just want to like, say that i think it's ex extremely exciting like where we're where we are right now and um seeing seeing the type of excitement from um a couple of conversations that i've had and i know i mentioned gitcoin like a million times but i was just kind of blown away oh yeah i met uh, I, I did have another meeting actually this week and it wasn't really about again um developer dow but when they found out i was involved with developer dow they became extremely excited and um it's it's a company that's uh, a brand new startup similar to the um get i'm sorry it's uh similar to build space but it's actually they have um an entire roadmap set out um around making their thing a DAO, um and they have a lot of interesting uh, ideas around how to kind of make their what they're doing work and it's 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 extremely focused on uh, teaching developers how to build web3 um both in person and uh, virtually, but they're going to be doing like um, a token allocation and they're going to be doing, um, you know, a lot of collaborations between discords and stuff. And they were really interested. And I, and I can't really re uh, kind of talk about the name of it because they haven't, um, they, they, they've done one cohort, but they haven't actually gone public about it. Anyway, I don't know like all the details. Um, I'd be happy to share those once I kind of like uh, am able to, but um, anyway, like, but they're interested in possibly doing some collaboration with us and in exchange, like giving us an allocation of their tokens um, and, and us being able to kind of like spread those, I guess, between the members or, or our treasury or something like that. Of course, th these were just general like conversations and, and nothing's been, of course, like figured out yet, but like that, it led to that conversation extremely quickly. So I guess my whole point is like the handful of conversations I've had this week have been like really, really kind of blowing me uh, away because um, just I've never really been involved in, um, you know, starting some um, or being at the beginning of something like this and seeing so much interest so quickly, especially with what we have to show for it so far. Honestly, all we have is like a really uh, community of people that are all like aligned with the same ideas. And uh, to see so many other people like outside of that, so excited about it is really motivating to me. And I think we have something really valuable if we can kind of like figure a way to make this thing work. I think it's going to be pretty fucking awesome. And I know that was a little bit of a tangent, but yeah. Already pretty fucking awesome. So it's crazy how much more <laughs> yeah. awesome it's going to be in the future. <laughs> yeah, amen for that, right? I think the buzz here is super good at the moment. Um, yeah. It's really interesting I, to be in the space. I keep in mind is like, the idea is good and i think that other people are going to try to come up uh with similar things out there and uh, i'm all for other you know um people in the space doing similar stuff but i think we need to make sure that like we have the narrative of the initial community doing this type of stuff with these types of ideas and make sure that we kind of continue creating noise um and stuff like that and, and building relationships and stuff And that's it for me. So, Nader, there's a, a conversation going on at the moment. Um, someone put forward an idea about a DAO to DAO job, um, being like a DAO to DAO resource of, of developers or partnering with DAOs to create a DAO to DAO, which is, um, could be quite cool for 
um, sort of branching out and forming relationships. I'll take a look at that conversation. Cool. Dope. Right. Um, hopefully, the music spot has recorded. I think we got Greg <laughs> backing us up anyway. <laughs> yeah. It didn't work last time, but I'm sure it's going to work this time. So, um, yeah, uh, awesome. Thank <laughs> Are you still recording, Greg, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's up, man. Uh, brilliant. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that was a great session. Um, we'll get the notes and the audio up as soon as we can. Uh, and yeah, can't wait to get moving on some of this stuff. It's super exciting. Amazing, everybody. Thank you, and hope everyone has a great weekend. Thanks, all. Yeah, Good to see you all. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Here you all. Thank you, Peace. Yeah, peace, you all. Bye. Have a good one.